and welcome back to Miosma Chronicles. Uh, we are back in Sedentary, um, where we have some stuff we need to do here. Do I remember what we needed to do? Absolutely not. So we're going to check the quest and see what's going on. Data recovery in Sedentary. Uh, we need more Vortex, but uh, return to the mayor. We also had in Sedentary, Grantor of Wishes. Vice is mighty grateful for those rescue. He says to check out his store in Sedentary if you want more Miasma chips. Can we go ahead and track this quest? Is it tracked currently? No idea. We'll see. So somewhere around here, there's a quest for us. It's probably that guy right there. Investigate. Dick Charlson. Wanted dead or alive for attempted assassination of Mayor Jay Mason. Last seen in Happy Hills. Reward. Did you say he murdered the mayor? We find Dick, we get that reward. Just like the poster says. Wait, what? Did he say the mayor was murdered? Surely not, right? Total low life, Dick Charlson. Uh, not only tried to kill the mayor. Okay, he also stole a sack of plastic from our place. Uh, we should really invest in a door. Time for some payback, wasteland style. He stole credits from me? Well, that's just fucking unacceptable. Change back posture, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Attempted assassination, yes, of course. All right. Fix my posture. Try him. All right. Um, where is this dude's shop? Somewhere this or way. I swear those monsters ate my dog. What? <laughs> that glove of yours. Can it stop these monsters? No. Dead. You all right? I'm the opposite of a right son. 26 years bringing supplies to sedentary. Never been bushwhacked by mutant frogs before. What is this country coming to? Oh, killing frogs is our bread and butter. Oh, yeah? A regular posse, huh? Tell me your names. Uh, I'm Diggs. This is Jade and Elvis. Diggs, Jade, and Elvis. I'm Zed from Fort Thomas. I submit to you a proposition. You go to Gator Zone and shoot the bastards that stole my wagon. Do that. And I'll reward you nice. Real nice. Believe me. Bushwhacked. Traveling merchant got robbed in Gator Zone. He says he'll give us a reward if we kill the grabbers who stole his wagon. Kill Zed's attackers. Hardcore. Um, we want this one, though. Uh, okay. We're going to everything except the guy that we want. Uh, oh my god, I didn't even see that this was a path. Here he is. Welcome to my shop. Filled with treasures from the darkest corners of America. I'm looking for more chips for my glove. You got any? You got a taste of what Vaz can provide, and now you're hooked. <laughs> I understand. That first chip, my daughter found it in a skyscraper close to the wall. She said there's more in there, in a locked vault, untouched since the original days. How does she know if it's locked? But she can't go back, because, well, as dangerous as all hell. She can tell you the rest. Her name's Faith. Find her at that skyscraper. Can't miss it. Ranger of Wishes. According to her father, Vice, uh... Uh, Faye knows how to get into a skyscraper close to the miasma wall. Inside, uh, there's miasma chips locked away since the days of the originals. Unlocks the black market. How do you know if it's locked? Check your market Buddies, real quick. Amigos, how can I help you? That's a one on one AP saver. How much money do I have? 2500 Your stuff's not super expensive. These seem cool. D sizer, jacker, jack off, uh, KW inverter. Lots of void signal boost and vamp. Um, some of these I'm familiar with. Cost reducing unit for manipulator glove extended during the time to expire, extended during combat. What 
Unit grants additional mobility or attack based on upon the combination with the glove. Extra action points to kilowatts 20. Ignores the action points of testing. Oh, it might be interesting. Should we, should we fuck with that? I don't really have anything to sell. Remember that that's there. We, we might want to come back and mess with that. Another side quest? What's this one? Archaeology. Oh, that's that one. Okay. So where's this? Eden. I don't think we've really gone to Eden yet, have we? Have we been there? Gator Zone, Happy Hills, Happy Hills, Skywell, Happy Hills. Uh, Deacon Cash, Esther's to recover his precious treasures. This is this in lockbox. Police station, that's right. That one was high level people that we couldn't get to. Gator Zone, we might actually be able to deal with. Maybe we go after Gator Zone. We also have to, we still have to go talk to the mayor here in Sedentary. Let's go do that. Elvis, hmm. stop agitating these frog monsters. Sorry. What? Hey, fuck you! <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> Is it? You're alive, hot damn. Mayor Mason. Barely. First family day to drive as requested. Hooey. Thank you kindly. See what happens when you trust me. This drive's gonna tell us where the vortexes are? I bet 50 plastic on it. But I'll need some time to decode the drive. In the meantime, I want you and Gator Zone helping the town militia fend off the frogs. Time's running out, Mayor. I'm finding these vortexes myself. Oh, time ran out. We're done. Listen to this live feed. Hear those screams? Those are miners with half the fight you got. Laying down their lives to defend their town. Right now. They need help. If you don't project power, Elvis, someone's gonna take it from you. Where's my proxy cable? Okay, we'll go to Gator Zone and hell. Buy you some time. Let's go. Oh, Elvis, one more thing. Yeah. I'm proud of you, boy. Always will be. We need to buy the mayor some time to decode the data drive. Let's go to get his own and help the militia fend off the grabber invasion. All right. I mean, we need to go there anyway, right? Stand by, level up. Uh, party. Skill deck. I don't think that I have anything I can buy for one. Cost two, cost three. Yeah, everything costs too much. Nothing I can buy for you. You've got one available. Everything costs three, four, two, two. That one costs one, but we haven't unlocked it yet. That one costs two. That one costs one, but we can't get to it yet. Okay. You have one available. That one costs two, two, three, three, four, two. All right. So you can't do anything with the level up, but that does put us at level seven, which is pretty good. I think level eight was what the enemies were at in that too high level zone. Um... We have our two powers. I think we're pretty well set. Let's uh, get out of here. We want to go to Gator Zone, which I believe was over in this corner of the galaxy. Also, still need to be able to get in here, and we haven't figured out how yet. As far as mine storage card, I wonder if that is going to be here. You got anything for me? Last time you gave me stuff. Cool. Good luck. Thanks, man. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> so tired. Why? I don't know. Shouldn't be. Also gonna have to make dinner soon. Dad at some point.
God, I can fall asleep. I'm oh, sorry. Hey, wait. Fuck you. Not my fault. <laughs> All right, here we are. We've got um, a couple different quests here. We're going to double check what those are. Um, so, under threat, we need to, we need to buy the mayor some time uh, to decode the dead drive. Let's go to Gator Zone, find out the militia. Find the militia leader. And then Bushwhacked, we need to kill Zed's attackers. So, that's the two that we're looking for. Uh, does that tell me... Sorry, was that level... Four to six, seven to nine. So let's definitely try and do the under threat first. It's not gonna be as demanding. Eden would also be a good one to go to, which I'm not exactly sure where that was. Where was Eden? We don't even know where Eden is. I can't move the map. There we go. Eden could be in one of these places we haven't actually explored yet. I remember hearing about it. I guess we haven't been there. Anyways, let's go see. Yeah, let's go see. Yeah. I don't trust the mayor. We need to ditch this war and find the Vortexes. I'm here to find Bahmati. I know, but if we go out there and find her, we might just be coming back to a graveyard. This is our home. We gotta protect it. Oh, snap! Hero alert! You smell a hero up in here, girl? You smell a hero? I can smell you, hero, baby! Let's shoot dudes over there. What happens if I drop? Never mind, can't. Alright. Just curious if we've missed anything, you know? Like, I hope not, but. Like, can I go in here? No. Alright. Let's keep going. Is this one of those areas where I left people alive? I couldn't fight them at the time. Not sure. Can get through there. I remember being here. Yeah, okay. this is the entrance to Gator Zone. I remember seeing this. I was like, "Holy crap, that's amazing!" Which it is. <gasps> oh my god, that was close. I was like, oh, what are these yellow things on the floor? Well, Wrath, those are fucking bad guys. Uh, so, can we hide? Okay. Riding point. All right, yeah, that's not gonna work. Uh, can we, guys, hide? Oh, it's right click, right. Hide. Okay, we've got frogs here. Definitely a problem. Um, militia guys are over there. We need to get through these guys first. And we know homegirl has Sorry, the here. ability to snipe and not get spotted. So what we're going to do is we're going to dip into this building. Gonna do some exploring. Scout and a spawn lord behind us. Let's see, let's put you right here. Put you right here. Um, please don't get spotted. Oh my god! Alright. Trying to snipe old homeboy over here. We have a 82% chance to kill. Don't fuck this up. Nailed it. Silent kill. Not spotted. Hell yeah. Get out of there. Get over here. Okay. We're gonna leave her there for the moment. Move all Elvis around. Check the corpse. Nothing on the corpse. We're good there. Something over here. That up. Energy cell. Alright. Gonna move here. 
to me. Okay, call the party. Let's see what we got. We got old Spawn Lord. Looks like he might be looking this way. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, Scout is someone we could potentially even take out. Not if the spawn lord's looking this way. We're going to want to do it from the other side then. Ooh, we can get up here. Hang on. Uh, this might be a good spot to actually fight these guys. Let's, uh, blop. Hold back. And send you up. Yeah, I said blop. We're going to blop. Don't worry about it. We're going to go from here. I'm good. Okay, and then I want you to get on this side. I want you two to be ready to go through this window and her to take out that scout when he's down at this right side. So now we wait. Is she raged? Does she have 130 crit chance? Is that what that's saying? Not entirely sure. hundred percent percent chance to hit, hit, 45% chance to kill. She does have an ability to increase her attack, but doesn't look like it will uh We don't have it needs to, it's on cooldown. Increase her crit chance, but it's on cooldown. So she has a 45% chance to kill. That's a problem. Is that either way? Okay. 45% chance to kill. Now, we have the ability to deal 30 fire damage over three turns. Which I'm going to do, but I'm going to have you go on Overwatch first on this guy. Okay, no crit, that's a problem, but he is on fire. Uh, I probably should have had you at the ready to get after it, but... Um, let's see, if I go with the tactical disc and we do some... tomfoolery here, could we potentially get the shot off through the window? No? Okay, uh, if we move here... Can we? Yeah, see, I don't know how much the fire damage does when the Fire Nation attacks, you know? I have an 80% chance to hit, it would kill. Let's go. Okay, it looks like that alerted people. Not super happy about that. Maybe we should have tried to stay silent. You think? Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit the reload. I think we're in for the fight of our lives. And I didn't save. Thankfully, it's going to take some people some time to get over here. I do have that guy on Overwatch. I don't have that on Overwatch. I do have that on Overwatch, though. That's a dead crit kill. Thanks, man. Just jumped up there. It's terrifying. Are you gonna move? He is. We're gonna get the shot off. He's got the armor. That's a problem. And we missed. That's another problem. Multiple problems I'm seeing here. Oh, oh god, a witch doctor. We had problems with them before. We're a higher level now, so I'm hoping for better. Damn, lucky shot. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Breed. Um gonna reload. Out of ammo. And then I need you to hit that guy. Doesn't get easier. Uh do I have a reload? Yeah, I have a reload. Probably should have had her move, but 
Um, all right, where old homeboy go? Spawn Lord ran over there. Okay, that's looking like a great area for. Let's see. Acid damage 30, 30, 50. Armor damage. Uh, Napalm death can hit you both. Um, let's go back one. Let's move. Um, Okay, so if I have you move here, can you still get a grenade over here? Somehow, yes. Okay, grenade, not bad. Armor damage would be nice. Damage over time, three. I doubt they'll stay there. So I'm kind of tempted to go for the explosion of the 50 damage right out the gate. Ah, catch this! Alright, now you got the assault rifle with a low chance of hitting. And then you get the sniper. Far better chance. Still not amazing. What else we got? We got the Overwatch and the Armor Eater shot would be the preferred 57% chance to hit with the Armor Eater shot. Can we get any better than that? 53, 53, 54, 50, 4, if we come back here, we're looking at 89 on you, but you're not the one we're trying to hit. I mean, we could take out the scout, and that honestly wouldn't be the worst. Knocking down how many attacks we're going to take per turn is definitely not the worst thing. Uh, what are we looking at on shots on you? Absolutely nothing from this side. If you come over here to this side, we're looking at an 89% chance to hit. It honestly wouldn't be the worst. If I come over here, 17. All right. Let's get out here, get the full cover, and get the shot off on this scout. Hopefully killing um after the grenade i'm hoping that with the uh five percent chance to kill and if we go with the okay the armor eater shot is actually um not available to us 89 percent chance to hit but definitely no chance to kill that's unfortunate most unfortunate not at all what i was hoping for Definitely want to take these guys out as best we can before these skull crushers get to us. Pretty sure there are a couple of melee guys who will fucking one tap us. That could be a problem as well. That's a big problem. Thank goodness. See, I didn't move her because I was hoping the other two would be able to take that, that scout out. However, they did not. And therein lies the problem. Um, chance to hit 40 percent chance to hit yeah skull crusher those don't have a whole lot of health so that's fucking wonderful that is great to see so we need her to start taking up the skull crushers can she do that you've reloaded you have a hundred percent chance to hit i put you here how does that look Why are you jeopardized there Half cover or jeopardize. That's unfortunate. Not sure why you're jeopardized. Maybe from the spawn lord. 
Must be from the Spawn Lord. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'm still gonna go for it. Run, coward, go! We're gonna take this guy out. 100% chance to kill. Action point restored. Uh, I'm gonna have her reload. I don't want Elvis going for it. Elvis should probably go after the Spawn Lord. The problem with that being, Spawn Lord is tanky. Especially with armor. So I'm thinking we open up the uh, acid effect. We actually put it in an area to where if that guy runs towards us, he has to run through acid to get to us. Put it like... So. This will get the party going. I'm sorry, did that not hit you? That definitely was supposed to hit you. Seventy percent chance to hit, sixty-five percent chance to crit. I don't know, we should probably I mean He's going to take a lot to kill. Can we get anyone else? Not really. He's kind of the only one that we're going to get. Wait. But wait. 70% and a 65%. And then if he runs through the acid, he'll probably die, right? Let's see. Beating out my eyes doesn't sound pleasant. Whoa. Doesn't sound pleasant by any means. What's your explosion radius? I'm probably too close, right? Uh, you know what I'd really like to get with you is maybe some overwatch on these people. Um, it would, probably wouldn't be the best, but it might do something for us. Two scouts are an issue. Yeah, I'm going to move you up. This could be a terrible idea. Oh, you know what we might have? Enough energy. Okay, so that's a problem. The armor eater shot would be great. The witch doctor does have armor. I have a 40% chance to hit with it. Um, but I'm honestly thinking the overwatch might do us better. I mean, this, this guy, maybe not. I'm not getting the best range on this thing. Um, only 40% chance, though. We switch. I don't have bullets in this weapon to do an armor eater shot. Oh, because I'm just out altogether, right? Okay. What if I go with a backpack item? And go with a napalm death can. You're on two different floors, aren't you? Yeah, that's unfortunate. Can I hit both of you two? I could. A napalm death can. Do I want to, though? It would force you to move. It's not great, but I think it's my best Time option. Not a whole lot of options. Alright, you're almost dead. There's fire and there's acid. What are you going to do? And dodge both of them and go after her. Well, that's not great. I'm going to have to dig. Diggs is the most tanky, so I'm alright with that. Fire did do some damage. The acid's doing more damage and armor damage. And he missed. That was probably the best thing that could have happened, honestly. Fire damage. He's still on fire, I think. He used, had to use his whole turn to run. And a miss. That was the best turn I've ever experienced in this game up to this point. Now, the problem that we have here is that you're... I'm in danger! Um, a problem. And I don't want to use... Her to kill him. So I need... One of you to kill this guy up here. And it actually looks like... Can I see... Okay, there's a windows here. I'm trying to get in a spot that wouldn't have window access to me. If I get over here, I have a 63% chance to kill... From here, what is my chance to kill? I can't. Okay. 
So I was hoping I could switch to the sniper and shoot that guy, but from here I can't see him. If I keep out my assault rifle, I'll have a 63, 66, 69. We might have to go with the 69 just because, you know. 71% chance, but no cover. But I wonder if that no cover is from him. Could also be the witch doctor is another possible fault. I mean, get rid of him. If we get rid of him, what can she do for us? Uh, she could shoot him, of course, obviously. She can't do much else. She could always move. And then potentially kill the witch doctor, which would be huge for us. And then digs. <sighs> digs. It'd be nice if digs could get into a spot. You have no ammo on that. Negotiator. A shotgun. <gasps> Wait, you have a running gun. Oh, a sprint and shoot in this game. Excuse me. It's basically a running gun. Um, which could get you all the way up to here, but then you could blast this guy with a shotgun. That would be huge, right? Let's sprint and shoot. I think that's our best idea yet. All right, and then shoot without hitting her. Done. Okay. It's exactly what we wanted. All right. So now we need to get into a point where we can kill. Ooh, yeah. The witch doctor. We're going to go with the focus shot for the 30% extra to crit, giving us a 65%, a 78% chance to hit, 65% chance to kill. Critical kill, double XP, action point restored. So what we're going to do with that extra action point, we could reload. I don't think we're in any threat unless the spawn lord drops back to hit us, but he's currently surrounded by acid, so we're going to go ahead and hit Where that reload. The go? Into the enemy's face holes. So now, I want to hit you. I have a 53% chance I could reload the sniper. But then we don't know what our hit chance is because we don't have a reload. But I don't want to use an actual reload just yet because I might want to stick with the assault rifle. I think she hopefully is out of sight of shots. He hopefully is out of sight of shots. So if I pull you back and hit the reload, they might not even be able to hit us. The thing is, is the spawn lord there. I could maybe get here, but that would use two action points. I can maybe get, no, nope, maybe get here. That would be one action point, and then a reload would be an action point. Takes us off the attack. It might be the best call. What is my damage on this? 50. So even if I put 70, if I crit. If I crit, I could kill the scout. That's a, that's a gamble. Especially if he doesn't move and he just shoots me from there. I'm going to move and reload. I think. Fall back. Get the full cover and hit the reload. Reloading. Spawn is unfortunate, but it's not the worst. Oh, you're what skull crushers are. That's not definitely not what I was thinking. I was thinking of something else. Okay, he did go in the acid, took the armor damage. You're still on fire. That's a win. Going for the flank, but you used your entire movement, so we don't have to worry about that. The scout's on the run because he couldn't get a shot on anyone. It puts it right next to Diggs, which is a plus. Now, I've got these two guys here. Got... Oh, no, you're downstairs. That's right, Diggs is upstairs. Diggs could drop down and get the shot. What's your damage on this 40? 60 if you crit not wonderful could get the blast on them and then i could put an overwatch on them so they would definitely die that wouldn't be the worst thing i've ever done ever actually it might be better to stay up here hit him from up here 100 percent chance to hit 15 percent chance to crit can we get any better on that crit chance not at all okay Let's do it. Let's go here. Get the blast on these two down below. 
Did get a crit. Wow, with a 15%. Still hit the crit. Alright, uh, I'm not ready for her yet. Him, I want the Overwatch. Now the problem is, is I need to flip to this. Don't want you to kill me, but I need the Overwatch on these two. I think if I drop back over here. Maybe if I drop here, that would give me full cover from you. I'd be a threat from the scout, but I can put the overwatch down on these two. What you gonna do, coward? Nothing. Really like my use my overwatch on you primarily. Now as for you, the spawn lord is within range. I can put some fire damage down on him. This is only a 53% chance to hit. Which isn't great. 67 if I come over here. 85 somehow if I come over here. Not really sure how that works, but... Where are you shooting him from? Whatever, I don't care. An 85% chance to hit is not the worst thing I've ever seen. You brainless bitch! <clears throat> Fight like you got a pair! Who are you talking to? <laughs> She talking to herself? Uh, the plasma shot. Deal 30 fire damage over three turns. That's a hit. He is now on fire. You should take damage. Did he just die? You're down to 10 HP. This is the fire, but I think you're now no longer on fire. I think the spawn lord just died. Okay, yep. Uh, just as I expected, the scout took me, which took off my overwatch and they got away. That's a problem. Oh, that was smart on their part. Bad on my part. Nothing's wrong with me. Just a, just a flesh wound. All right, you need to reload and blast these two away with a shotgun blast. Oh my God! What? Why? Stop it! Please, please stop. Please. Why? Just, just why? Okay, the problem here is that it's a one for one. If I move, ah, oh, fuck! I reloaded. I can't move. Um, you bring this bitch. Fuck, Luke. You have a pair. That comment took my attention away from my video game. <laughs> what game are you playing? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Uh, we could potentially. Nope. I don't have any more explosives. Uh, I don't, I don't like that it's glitching out like this, but I'm pretty sure it looks like we can only hit two squares at a time, not three. From this position, that's not great. All right, let's hold off on you. If her that needs to reload, and then she could, she could kill him, but I could kill him, which means. If I kill him, she needs to kill one of these two. One down. Okay, we're nice good. One, Jade. So then you can shoot that guy. Point for digs. Who's keeping score? And then yeah. Elvis can shoot that guy. All right, we took a lot more. There's still a scout, guys. There's still a full health scout over there. Uh, not sure if anyone's keeping track, but that is a, a bad thing. Move here. He doesn't have any armor. We're gonna go for the sniper shot. 65% chance to hit. Okay. Uh, let's see. I might want to hit you with the... No, that's not bad. Let's go with that. And then we'll hit the reload on her. Get the shot off as well. 59% chance. Sweet. Okay. Um... You. I don't know why I couldn't switch to you before, but all right. 
We took a little bit more damage than we would have liked, but there's a med pod, and that will help us immensely. Um, ooh, and a frag grenade. Um, can we get in here? Consumables, med pod, med pod two. Let's go med pod. We're gonna heal you. These two actually aren't super healed or hurt, so we're not gonna worry about that. Um, I'm actually mm, I'm gonna use the energy cell as well because I definitely need that in these fights. So we'll grab that. We're good here. We took out all these enemies. Um, I don't think we're gonna need up top. Double check the area before we uh. Dinosaur. Reptile world is not the area that we need to go to. I think that's where we went last time, right? Now we're going this way. Did we go this way last time? I don't think so. I kind of can't even remember. Gator tours. I hope you're friendly. Elvis. Over here. I'm gonna assume you're friendly. Big. Hope it's not too late. Uh, what's that say? Gator tours. Okay. Excuse me? Is there an actual gator over here? Oh shit, there was in the water. There was an actual gator. There's a car! Sniper up top. I was looking to see if there's anything else up top we need to worry about. Plastic. Energy cell, that's nice. Double checking the area. So we've got three entrances, including the one that we came from. You the guy I need to talk to? Negative. What's up with you? Six foot frogs in front of me and 20 foot gators behind me. Why did I come out here? Okay, and over here is this okay so you've got a dead end here shouldn't have to worry about that too much we've got a second floor there second floor there second floor there a couple of different hiding spots around we've got a blockaded path in from there is there anything up that side up here anything pick up plastic what's that investigate you're not getting me on a boat i know it's swimming in the river gator all right um if the frogs turned into people why didn't the gators turn into people so that's a dead end that's a dead end which means we're probably fighting that way since i came from that way which means we're probably going to want to set up as the last line of defense. I know, we're probably supposed to be the front line of defense. But being on top of that building and hiding out in there sounds a lot better than dying on the front lines, you know? Joseph Maximine, Max, Maxine Conway. Mr. Conway. You're not dating my daughter anymore, Elvis. Call me Joseph. Are you dating your daughter? We're here to help. Just tell us what to do. <laughs> I was hoping you could tell us what to do. I'm not a... I mean, the mayor sent us. Said you needed help fighting the frogs. This ain't fighting. They're just hunting our stupid asses. Picking us off one by one. We can't even bury our dead. Frogs steal the bodies. But just when our scout says she found out how to win this war, she disappears. I'm sorry. We're good at killing these things. If that, uh keeps you going only thing keeps us going is the legend of a hero a warrior who moves the miasma yeah i've been trying to get to her i just can't the legend's about you dummy we heard all about your adventures out there no I, i'm not the what the hell are we gonna do hero lead us uh, you um you said your scout knew how to win the war We'll find her. Bring her back. Thank you. When we lost contact, she was at the Spendthrift Ruins. They're at the end of the Old Town Road. 
You'll need this key. Go quickly. What does she look like? You already know. The scout is my daughter, Baxter. Bring it back to me, Elvis. First of all, I dated someone named Baxter. I don't think so. Second, uh, I need to change something real quick. Uh, there we go. All right. Um, uh, quest updated. Let's double check the like quests. Uh, under third, get his own. Uh, open the gate. We're going to find his daughter, my ex, named Baxter. Apparently, that way. Yeah, that's right. Frogs took Baxter. Damn, Elvis. See, you go way back. Way back. If we just got here earlier. You're here now. Time to rescue your princess. Yeah. Let's hurry. Apparently, uh, I still have feelings for her. News to me. I don't see any movement. But I'm so curious, like, have we even been here? I know that's that's the way we're supposed to go, but I'm curious, like, what's over here? Where we were before? Does this look familiar to anyone? There are enemies here. Oh, high level enemies. Okay, we're not supposed to be here. There are only one level higher than us, but still. Gator Zone's a big area. Got it. Note to self, don't wander off. Um, nothing in here. Anything up above either? Anything in here? Uh, okay. A roller coaster. We're in. Let's find your friend, Baxter. What oh, that sign said. Oh, okay, Raptor. All right, let's go find Baxter. How long have we been doing this? You want to keep track? I don't know. I'll split it up. Whatever. Exit. Have you seen the people in this world? You better be happy with someone named Baxter being all judgy. All right, listen. <laughs> I mean, I know you're right. You know you're right. We ain't got to tell the chat. We ain't got to tell the stream. We ain't got to put it on record. I'm going to take my digs down the Old Town Road. I'm going to... Old Town Road should take us to Baxter. Thank you for interrupting. You were close to it? Apparently. Who the hell cares? Oh, wow. She shouldn't be out here alone. All right, calm hey. down, Elvis. Watch your anger, Elvis. Yeah. What we'll the fuck? find her. Is there a bus? Damn. Is there a bus out here? That's the real question. All right, I know I'm getting lost. I'm just looking around, like, looking for interesting things. I thought that was just a leaf floating in the air right there, but it's attached to a tree. For some reason the tree goes invisible but the leaf doesn't try not to miss anything there he's so massive though oh apparently that's water i guess like see i could have missed the restroom card uh old town road a restroom key card with return to driver after use written on it i wonder if that went the bus driver, yeah. What is that? What are those? There's something giant over there. Uh, and there's no way around, so we're going through. Is that? 
Tree voids. Turning nature into nightmares for more than a century. You've seen these things before? Called whisperers. Watch out for the small ones. No, I'm pretty sure they're called tree blades. Melba's testimony. Hang on. Uh, Melba's testimony. Police were telling us to turn around. Said they didn't want us looting their town. I don't know nothing about looting. All I knew was that Storm was gaining on us. Storm didn't care who we were. Felt like the world was collapsing. That great stability the politicians kept patting themselves on the back for wasn't so great no more. I lost my husband that day. I tried, guys. I tried to use that as a as a cutaway so I could respond to my phone, but apparently I'm slow. I'm sorry. Alright, well, there, she lost her husband. She was, the police were telling her to turn around. About all I got from that. Okay, we've got a giant dude, which we don't know what he's called. We don't know the little guys are called saplings. Moving ahead. A spot you can dip out. Get behind some cover. Sapling over there. Might actually be able to get a shot off on. Let's get you hidden. You come with me. Digs. Work our way. Brown. Okay, we don't know what the big guy's called yet. I feel like I'm hearing multiple big guys, but maybe not. There he is. So we want to try and take out this sapling with the 70 health before, uh... There's a gator behind me, too. Let's, uh, pull up the codex on Whispers. Old American stories uh, tell of whispers in the woods. A feeling that something is watching and stalking you from just beyond the tree line. <sighs> it seems there actually is some truth to this myth. Tree-like creatures um, with wood for skin and sap for blood who prey on the wayward travelers. Also, the sedentary militia. Ragtag town militia composed of miners and merchants who put their uh, own war welfare second to the innocent lives within the walls of sedentary. They're smart, strong, good with weapons, but there's no match. They're no match for the horrors lurking in the miasma-infected wilderness. Uh, we checked out all these guys, right? Enemies specifically, I'd like to look at saplings. Small quadrupedal juveniles, which are much faster than fully grown whispers. They like to grab and hold the target until the lumbering adults can get close. Rooting grab, they grab and hold the target with its paralyzing root system, and they can also leap to high ground. And then the actual whisper... Uh, huge walking tree-like creatures with thick bark skin and immu immense strength. They can uproot dormant saplings from the soil to join them in battle. They have spawn saplings, uh, and they have miasma storm. They can throw with the miasma. That's terrifying. Uh, there's also this, which I am not familiar with. Quendel Zen. I wonder if he was the guy in the hologram that we saw. He's from the first fam family. Quindle Zen is the scorned nephew of the First Family CEO. He's an impetuous brat who's failed his way up the corporate ladder, leaving chaos in his wake. New, uh, excuse me, now, Quindle's uncle has given him one last chance to redeem himself by overseeing the miasma-infected southern region and pillaging their resources. Vain, reckless, dangerous, Quindle will stop at nothing and kill anyone to maximize profits for the family and save his own neck. Skills unknown. Uh, Quindle's built-in anti-spyware prevents any kind of physical scan. Interesting. Deacon Cash, mysterious traveler camping in Happy Hills. What keeps her alive out here? Must be more than luck. Zed Ortiz, tough, ornery weapon uh, wagon master who risks his life hauling mail and goods between settlements. He's a welcome sight to the off-gridders who depend on him. Joseph Maxine Conway. Uh, affectionately known as J-Max, is the leader of the town militia and proud father of his daughter, Baxter. An avid cook, he's got particular fondness for deep-fried bullfrog legs, but recent events have somewhat spoiled his appetite. Makes sense. Uh, Happy Hills. Happy Hills was hailed as being a landmark town for ecological living. In some states of New America, old buildings were deemed inefficient and were torn down in favor of eco-friendly prefabricated structures. Maggie Dyer, the mayor of Happy Hills, 
Tired of seeing history lost in place of progress, put her foot down and encouraged ways to protect uh, what encouraged ways to introduce new technology to the old infrastructures. Following Maggie's lead, other town leaders followed suit, having helping preserve the charm of old Kentucky. The Old Town Road, the Grey Wolf Bus Company. Bus Company was one of the oldest transportation companies in Kentucky. Bus travel was an affordable method for many to travel great distances. Over the years following the collapse, this area became a meeting place for evacuees directed there by an app made available to the public to help them evacuate the worst hit areas. Despite being paid a king's ransom, the developers neglected to properly test the app and almost every user got sent to the same place. Here. <laughs> 